Andrew McGahan for themaclife.com here in SBG Charleston, standing alongside not only an Irish scouser, not only a mixed martial arts fighter, not only a fighter with an 11 and 5 record, but a man who hails from Dundalk in County Louth. Yeah, yeah, Dundalk, Irish scouser. Yeah. Originally, and Jack McGann, Andrew McGann, for the first time I've met someone, unfortunately your name is spelt a little bit incorrectly, There's, there isn't an O in it, yeah. but your mum is originally from Dundalk and you have family over there as well. Yeah, I've got, I've got more family in Ireland than I have, than I have back in, in England, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm here a lot of the time, that's why you know, I'm, I'm in with Owen, the lads and that, but yeah, Irish coach, yeah. There is um, a little bit of news on your part as well, a guy with multiple mixed martial arts fights under his belt at such a young age, there's a little transition happening. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be boxing in March. We fit my first professional boxing fight. I'm having a little switch. Um, you know, as I said, I'm 24. I've had 16 pro fights. I've I've main events in the arenas in Russia. I've 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 fought in front of 10,000 people. I've I've done it all. So, yeah, I can't wait. It's like it's like I've fought everywhere. I fought in Siberia, Tajikistan, anywhere but the stand on the end is not a good place to be at the minute. But um, I haven't fought. I haven't fought back in back in the UK or even even Ireland for like two years. So, I'm excited for it. And and, and I think. One of the good things to switch up is boxing is is on the up again, and and it, it is all happening in Liverpool. It, it is all happening in, in in Ireland. You know what I mean? So for for the time, it, it makes sense. After your last fight, I know you said mixed results and going over to Russia, and maybe not too happy with that. But after seeing what unfolded after your fight, with all of the hype, maybe leading up to the McGregor Mayweather fight, and then like so many of your finishes coming through devastating power, you must have thought, okay, let's let's just try this. You know, I'm still young in the game. I can still go and do something else. I can come back to mixed martial arts yeah. in a couple of years' time. Yeah, definitely. You know, you know, um, I I I done really well in the English scene, and I fought in Ireland as well. And that's probably one of my best fights over here. And um, I w went to Russia, and, and, and you know, I took the hardest fights I could against the better, but best opponents in in different weight categories. And I did have mixed results, but I wouldn't change it because I got great experiences from it, and, and I, I grew as a fighter a lot as well. I had some great nights, I had some not so great nights, but. Um, but I was always, I, I could always box anyway. I was, I was always, I, as you said, I've got, I've got ten first round knockouts, and that's usually with my hands. And then I've actually been criticising some of my MMA fighters just being a boxer. Um, like I wouldn't go in there and look to take you down or, or whatever. It was always knock it out with my hands. Um, so, so, so I, th I think I was always going to do it. But I think with Conor when he fought me with it, it was just the biggest fight there's ever ever been ever. And I think the the, the attention around it, it made sense to this is the time we're going to do it. You know what I mean? Do you have like an estimated time? Are you, are you not ruling out that you may fall in love with boxing and may not return to mixed martial arts, depending on how it goes, or if you take to it like a duck to water, maybe more naturally than MMA? That, that's what I mean. You, you know, you know, I'm a fighter that I have. Maybe I was meant to be a boxer, and I've just I've had 16 MMA fights, and, and, and I've I should have been in, in the ring the whole time. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I can't tell, but um, <laughs> I definitely love MMA. That, that's what I've done since I was a kid. I'm, I'm I'm not saying I'm done with it, but right now it's boxing. But I don't know. I might go in there and like people up straight away and then not, not go back, do you know what I mean? I can't, I can't tell. Some people might say, I've seen kind of fight, I jump over from MMA to boxing, I've been like, I want to do that, I've been, I've been doing this for a while and I'm going to sign with um, Frank Warren in England, who's one of the, 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 the biggest bo boxing right. promoters full stop. So it, even that itself, with him going to sign me, that's him putting his trust into me. It's not like I've sat down and I've plagued him and went, I'm dead good at boxing, you know what I mean, to watch what I do and all that. He, he, he's got trust in me and I'm I'm not going to be going in there and, and, and fighting in sports centres and 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 on, on little shows, and when we, I've I've done my, I've got, I've, I've done all, all my hard work in, in my MMA fights. So I'm gonna be going in three quarters of the way up. I'm gonna start on it. I, I would have liked to start on eight rounds, but they won't let me. So I'm gonna start on a six, and then I'm gonna be fighting decent opponents, and I'm gonna I'm gonna move fast. So um, hopefully I make my debut in March as well. I'm actually glad you mentioned that about the six rounder mm -hmm. because I was curious as to a guy that has fought so many times in mixed martial arts. When you go over to boxing, I was wondering what you were going to start at yeah. and if you could have decided that. Or how do you feel maybe that you're going to be able to last the course of six rounds when you don't have to account for yeah. grappling, when you don't have to account for takedowns, wrestling, submissions as well? Yeah, it, the training is definitely different. I, I always say <coughs> training for the MMA fights are, are harder than training for the boxing fights. But boxing fights are probably harder because the talent pool is deeper, do you know what I mean? Because there's so much stuff you've got to worry about in MMA. And um, that... that, that but we, we we always I didn't want to go right to the, I didn't want to see it as like starting again. So I didn't want to go on a four rounds and fighting lesser opponents and, and building up. I've, I've done my work. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a season I'm a season pro. I've done this for five years now. I'm not, I'm not, I know how to fight. Do you know what I mean? So um, 
that, that, that's where we're going with it. We're going to be looking to go to move fast. And uh, judging from the size of you, you obviously know how to cut weight as well. Yeah, yeah. You've competed at 66 kg. Yeah. I weigh 65 kg. There is not a kilo difference <laughs> between the two of us here. Um, is that going to change for boxing? I'm not too, uh, excuse my ignorance on that. I know yeah. some of the weight classes in boxing, yeah. but it seems like they're a lot more open to um, 147, 152, 154 yeah. in terms of weight classes. Is that going to be something that will benefit you? Yeah, yeah. That, that, you know, that's one of the reasons why people cut so much in MMA because, there's, because of the lack of classes. It's like, it's like 170, 155, and 145. It's, it's, it's massive, do you know what I mean? So um, I'm probably going to fight around 72, 70, 73, something like that, which is perfect for me. Boxers seem to have the affordability of being able to have a lot more fights in a year than mixed martial arts fighters. Yeah. So are you hoping to maybe get four or five pro boxing fights under your belt this year already? Assuming you come out of March unscathed. Yeah, definitely. And you know, I, I always had, I always stayed busy anyway. I always had six or five MMA fights, which are obviously a lot, a lot harder to do. So, yeah, five, five or six is what, what, what I've aimed for. And, and, and hopefully, as I said this by, by, eighteen months or whatever, I'd be looking to fight for the title somewhere. If I'm picking up on something that you said in the car on the way over here, when you're talking about title, you're not just talking about a British title. No, no. Because of your mother's link. Yeah you have an Irish passport, yeah. uh, so you are eligible to f compete and fight for Irish titles as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm dual national, so I, I'm eligible for that Irish title. I'd, I'd love to do it just because I'm, I'm, I'm basically just an Irish fellow living in, living, living in Liverpool, really. Or, as I said, all my family's here, all my, all my best mates are here. I'd love to do it just, just for that, you know what I mean? And, and then I could have a fight for the Irish one and then f go back home and fight for the British as well. That, that, that's what I'm thinking about. Dual wielding champion. Yeah. When it comes to coming back over to Ireland here, training with Roddy, training with the guys here in SPG Charlestown, I know from uh, talking to the guys that train here that have trained with you, you've been a huge asset in development to them, even if you're only over for a couple of days at a time. What is it that, aside from the Irish link, aside from um, your dad and Owen being friends from years back in the game, what is it that is uh, that keeps you coming back to him in particular? Just, just it's just the lads as well. It's, 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 it's their mindset on fights. They, they've got the same mindset as what we had. It's, it's you go in there to finish fighting, you put exciting fights on, and you, and you, and, you, and we, we just we, 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 we clicked, you know what I mean? So, and Owens plus Owens a great coach, he's a fantastic coach, and, and that's what keeps bringing me back. I know that I did say to you earlier on that maybe you may not end up back to mixed martial arts, yeah. but. Is your mindset genuinely the ultimate thing that this is going to improve me as an all-round fighter regardless of the outcome? I could go into boxing and find out I hate it. I could go into boxing and find out it's too hard to apply. Or I could go into boxing and polish my skills for a future MMA career. You're 24 years old. You could go and do two years of boxing, come back at 26, and still not be anywhere near your prime. That's it. I could sit on my coach for three years if I wanted to, and I could still come back and I've still got that experience, whatever. But... I, th I think it's more of a case of I just want to do it because, you know, I've always sparred top level um, world class fighters in, in, in England who fought for world titles like, like Martin Murray and all them. And, and I'm, not, I'm not delusional, I spar, I spar, but they kept using me, do you know what I mean? So they were getting something from that. So I've always said I want, I want to box, I want to do it, I want to do it. So this is just the time to do it. But definitely, if I, if I go away and, and I do go to boxing for, for a few years and have a great run and I start MMA again, and I'm, and I'm in a better position than I am now. And, 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 you know, a fight, a fight, you learn, you learn, you learn loads from any fight. I could fight some fella on the way to the car and I learn something, do you know what I mean? So, um, definitely, it, it, it's, it's the right move. Hopefully you don't, because there's only me and Dave between you and the car. So, um, Jack, pleasure to meet you at Dundalk Man as well, and best of luck in your boxing career this year.